Um, yep, I probably shouldn't have come here. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod view where today I'm here with Grim in the Abyssal Craft mod. How are you doing Grim? Where we're going to look at a ton of extra game content which is introduced into your Minecraft games. We've got everything from items, weapons, armors, biomes, dimensions, mobs and even more than that so let's get straight to it and as you can see me and Grim are currently walking around the brand new biome in the overworld which is called Darklands. So we start with this Darklands grass which has a very cool ender particle effect, very nice purple colour as well as the leaves on these Darkland oaks. We also have Darklands wood which can be changed into this very cool black grey kind of brown different coloured wood which looks very nice and we've also got an array of different blocks in here as well. We've got a cobblestone variant called Darkstone which will be used to make tools and stuff later on but you've also got this array of blocks too. We've got stairs in wood form and stone form and they all look very nice. A nice way to revamp your house with this different colored wood. So we've also got some generated structures and I'll also note that mostly undead mobs spawn here like zombies and skeletons but we also get the occasional creeper and you also get the occasional spider as well and some new mobs which we'll get to later on. I'm not sure if we'll come across any but we'll have to wait and see. So through here is a generated structure just featuring not too much. There is one that I'll go over to in a second which has a little bit more features within and some little surprises and secrets. This one is just like a little kind of, I don't know, a little pillar just with some glowing dark stone and some normal dark stone which you can pretty much just nick for yourself and it just allows you to get these items a little bit easier. And if we fly over to this one, we have a very special generated structure which has a nice secret within. So Grim should follow us. Um, he should do anyway. Use your special teleporting powers, Grim. There, he's always, he's already here. How do you even do that? How do you do it? Anyway, we've got some zombies here. Is this a, this is a villager zombie. How are you doing, buddy? You've got to get out of the way, though. Just push him out of the way. This is a cool generator structure made out of dark stone as well. But if you go inside, looks kind of empty. You could even inhabit this yourself. But if you go upstairs, you will see that there is a ton of bookshelves. Well, a fair amount of bookshelves and an enchantment table as well. Saves you a lot of resources, a couple of diamonds, and you can also enchant your stuff on the go as well as an emerald block on the roof. How cool is that? And there's a sneak peek of the new zombie that we'll get to later on as well. So where are you, Grim? There we are. It's fine. <laughs> He's behaving himself. So we're going to head over to the mod view place again. And actually, I forgot to mention, there's another generated structure over there. It's just got like obsidian in the floor and dark stone around it as well as a little bit of lava in there as well. So cool stuff. And let's get back to the mod showcase. Come on, Grim, let's go. Grim, we made it. And now we're going to go over some of the new items in this mod very, very quickly, which starts with these brand new ores. We've got Abyssal Night Ore and Corallium Ore. Now, when you mine Abyssal Night Ore, you will get this Abyssal Night Chunk, which you can smelt and create the Abyssal Night Ingot, which you'll need for the armors and weapons later on. And I'll show you the recipes for those in a minute. And when you mine the Corallium Ore, you'll pick up the ore and then you need to smelt it to create this, which is the Corallium Gem. Now, you can use these Corallium Gems in different ways, but we're going to need it to craft the Corallium Infused Stone and the Corallium Pearl to make some of the really, really awesome super buffed weapons and items later on. So you can actually fuse these together. You get the Corallium Gem, put two of these in a crafting table and they'll kind of merge together into a cluster A. Then do the same with three and you'll be able to make cluster B. And I think you can go all the way up to H, which is pretty damn crazy. But we're only going to need to go up to three just now to make the Corallium Infused Stone. So if you fuse six stone into a crafting table and then grab three different cluster Bs, so three separate cluster of Corallium Gems. Sounds very confusing, but it's actually very simple. And you get the Corallium Infused Stone. Stick that into a furnace and you'll get a Corallium Pearl, which will make some really cool buffed items, which we'll get to now, which are the armors and weapons in this mod. Let's go over the weapons first. We've got the standard ones, which are the Abyssal Knight Sword set, as well as the rest, as you would expect, in the normal crafting recipe way, using the ingot that we looked at earlier. And then you've got Dark Stone, which is a little bit weaker than the Abyssal Knight, but the Abyssal Knight is stronger than Diamond. I will note that. It's very strong, but we can make it even stronger by using this beautiful thing, which is the Transmutation Gem. So this item can infuse Abyssal Knight items, adding new powers to them. And this is what they look like. So the original one is one more powerful than a Diamond Sword, which is really cool. But we can make them even more powerful. Check out this sword. It has a plus 12 attack damage 
and you're going to need one of these. So to craft the transmutation gem, you're going to need two ender pearls, two diamonds, four blaze powders, and a corallium pearl to craft one of these. And then you need to fuse that with your abyssal knight items to craft their kind of buffed up versions. So this is the recipe for your super powerful corallium infused abyssal knight sword, which is an absolute mouthful. You're going to need the original abyssal sword as well as some more ingots a transmutation gem and a blaze rod and that will give you your amazing sword which does plus 12 attack damage and just to put that into context the corallium infused pickaxe will actually do 10 damage which is three more powerful than a normal diamond sword so definitely worth getting but very very expensive especially these gems they're so damn expensive but anyway very powerful and i'm going to use these against some of the mobs later on you can also use this transmutation gem on some armors so we've got the new armor set which is the abyssal knight set crafted normally just with abyssal knight ingots but you can infuse those as well so as you can see we've got the fully infused abyssal knight set which is crafted like so you just need extra abyssal knight ingots and a transmutation gem and when wearing these these will give you different buffs so at the minute the leggings and boots don't actually give you any buffs but when you add the chest plate you will actually get resistance for an unlimited amount of time but when you add the helmet things get serious we get all of these buffs check it out we get speed to night vision jump boost to regeneration resistance fire resistance and water breathing too as well for an unlimited amount of time so this it's an absolutely insane set of armor, but I guess it's not too overpowered because of all of the transmutation gems you're going to need, which involves a lot of diamonds and a lot of crazy stuff. So this is the armor. It doesn't actually have a texture just yet, but just to put it into context for you, when you're using the Corallium Infused Abyssal Knight Sword with this full armor set, you're doing about 42 damage to 47 damage every hit. Yes, it's crazy. While generating, getting boosts, night vision, and all that crazy stuff. So we're going to take this off for now, and the effects will run out. And then we're going to move on to how to get to the abyssal dimension and create this beautiful portal, which isn't created in the traditional way. You're actually going to need one of these, which is an oblivion catalyst. Now, for this, you're going to need four redstone, four eyes of ender, and a nether star, which is absolutely crazy expensive, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And you take this catalyst and place it with two of the pearls that we looked at earlier and two blaze rods to craft this which is the gateway key now this key is your gateway to the new dimension and you don't actually have to build a portal in your traditional way you actually just take this gateway key and press the right click button on the ground and it will create it for you i'm not going to do it now because i've already got stuff set up on the other side but that is how it works right click the floor it will give you this dimensional portal now we just need to jump through it so grim are you ready we're going to jump through this portal and I'll meet you on the other side. And here we are in the abyssal dimension. It is very green, very dark. Grim is here already, sitting very perfectly. And we've got some new mobs to look at. So first off, let's take a quick look at the dimension. Kind of reminds me of the Matrix for some reason, probably because of that crazy green glow at the end. We actually have a dimension that's full of endermen and mainly undead mobs. So you won't find any spiders here, no bats, nothing like that, just undead mobs and the new ones. So we get lots of zombies, lots of skeletons and the new ones over here. And we also have this really cool generated structure, which is an obsidian tower. And you can see they're absolutely everywhere. There's just obsidian towers. You can't actually go in them. But if you get to the top, which they're 100 blocks high, by the way, you will find a little gift, which is, let's go all the way to the top because it takes a while. So imagine how difficult this is going to be to get to the top. We've got glowstone inside as well, so saves you a trip to the nether. But we've got diamond blocks in the top. There's only one diamond block per thing, and Grim has joined us. How are you doing, Grim? That's, sit down. No, sit down. You're living a dangerous life right now. I know you're an undead dog, but you can still hurt yourself. So stay there until we get to the bottom. But anyway, diamond blocks your reward for getting to the top. And we're going to make our way to the bottom. Here we are, Graham. Come on, keep up. There we go. Use a little teleporting ability. So we're going to introduce four of the six brand new mobs in this mod. These are kind of like your normal ones. The one on the left we've already seen, which is the Abyssal Zombie, which also spawns in the overworld biome, which we're in a minute ago. And it's kind of just like a more beefed up zombie. It looks very cool, kind of hero briny, but kind of green at the same time. And has 25 health, doesn't have any special attacks or effects, but is just a little bit of a beefier zombie. We then have the Abyssal Knight Golem, which is fairly rare and is very purple, so very easy to spot. And that will drop Abyssal Knight, so a different way to get Abyssal Knight rather than searching for the ores. And 
then we have a Dreaded Abyssal Knight Golem, which will actually drop Dreaded Abyssal Knight Ingots, which aren't actually usable just yet, but they will be in the future of this mod. This has 20 health, as we've seen with the Abyssal Knight Golem. And then we've got the Depth Ghoul, which will also spawn in the biome in the overworld, and is an undead kind of zombie pigman kind of guy. And he will do a normal amount of damage in melee form and has 15 health. Why are these skeletons being so rude? Come on, just... just Leave it out of it. Grim, okay, okay. Grim's going to take care of it. Grim is going to take care of it. Take him out. Take him out. Jesus, you only lost two health there, but that was a close call. But anyway, we're getting on to some serious, serious power right now. We have got the Dreadguard, and we've also got Jazar the Gatekeeper, which is kind of like the boss of this dimension. Now, these two are work in progress. They will have kind of like special attacks and special drops and stuff, but for now... Here is Dreadguard. Look at him. He's in abyssal armor, a crazy amount of abyssal armor, and he's also got his brain popping out the side. A single eye, and what do you think of this one, Grim? Are you going to take him on? I don't really think you want to take him on, but anyway, we're going to try it anyway. Let's take him out. He does have a very hard-hitting attack. Be careful, Grim. I don't want to hit you. My god, just... Wow, you're actually seriously taking him out right now. There we go. He's dead. He doesn't actually drop anything just yet, but this is a work in progress mod. And then we have the bad boy of this dimension, the boss called Jazar the Gatekeeper. And this is what he looks like. He looks actually pretty hilarious. It's kind of like a basic skin, but very cool. The head, I think, is maybe a bit too basic, but I kind of like it. I really do. So this is Jazar the Gatekeeper, 400 health, kind of like a ghost. Is absolutely massive in proportion to your Minecraft player. Check that out. And now we're going to take him down and see what he drops. So be very careful, Grim. This guy is a beast. He will hit very hard. St don't keep getting in the way. What is wrong with you? Jeez, he's actually doing some serious damage to him right there. Wow. No. Oh, oh my god. He I didn't realize he did this. Grim, stay out the way. Stay out the way. He's actually firing with a skulls. I didn't know he did this. Grim, you've angered him. You've Why have you angered him so much? Come on. Come on. Just take him out. Take him out. There we go. Grim, where did you go, buddy? Where are... Oh, you're there. It's fine. He only lost a little bit of health. I thought you had died. Then Wither Skulls com just took me completely off guard. But anyway, I'm glad you're okay, buddy. But anyway, as you can see, he drops this, which is a couple of Staff of the Great Keeper. But he doesn't really do anything with these right now. They don't do anything for you. They only do one damage on a zombie, as you can see. Actually, they, they rarely do damage at all. So Grim, take him out. He's just bugging me. Go on, take him out. Bite him in the butt. There we go. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. <laughs> so yeah, these don't do anything on a right click either. But again, this is a work in progress mod, even though there's so much content already. And I'm sure it will have some crazy magical properties in the future. And I think that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. So it's really cool. Even though it's work in progress, there's lots of features to play around with. And I highly suggest that you do. So if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. And also, if you have to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy Enjoy the video a like would be greatly appreciated too let's see if we can hit a big 4,000 likes that would be absolutely insane so you can now also catch me on my twitter and facebook accounts in the description below too which would be awesome and thanks a lot for watching again guys and i will see you all next time goodbye